Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make stewed chicken in a red sauce. So let's get started. So here's a quick overview of all the ingredients that I'll be using. I'm going to be using drumsticks, tomatoes, peppers, onion, and garlic, and an array of spices. So let's make the sauce. So I started off by putting all my tomatoes, peppers, and onions, and garlic, and ginger inside of my food processor. All the ingredients will be listed down below. And I'm going to pulsate that inside of my food processor just until it's a chunky sauce. You can do this in a blender too if you don't have a food processor. But you want to be careful not to pulsate it too much, otherwise the sauce will turn from a pretty bright red to pink because it has too much air incorporated into it because of the pulsing. And then I'm going to add in all my dry spices, my bouillon, which you saw here, and my curry powder. And then I'm just going to mix that up until it's mixed nicely. I kind of like a chunky sauce, the texture you see here. But you can mix it even more, but just be careful, you don't want it to turn pink. Now we're going to get started with our chicken. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon of oil inside of a 10 inch saucepan. And you can see those little dimples in the oil, that means the oil is nice and hot. So I'm going to add my chicken in, skin side down. It really doesn't matter what side you add, to be honest, because you're going to brown it on all sides. So you want the pan to be really hot on medium-high heat, and you're just going to brown the chicken. Don't worry about cooking it through at this point, because you're going to cook it through inside the sauce later on. So we just want to brown it on all sides. This browning will create flavor that will give great flavor to our sauce later on. Remember that fawn that we talked about in the lasagna video? We're creating that same fawn, those brown bits, on the bottom of the pan right here. And now we're going to cook our sauce or begin to kind of reduce it down a bit and kind of evaporate some of that water. So in that same pan that I cooked the chicken, I took all my chicken out and on that same medium high heat, I poured all my sauce and I let it reduce for about five, five minutes is perfect. You just want to concentrate the flavor. And once we did that, we're going to put all of our chicken back into the pan and cover it and then let it stew for even longer for about 20 to 25 minutes on medium to medium low heat until the chicken falls apart and is nice and tender. And I'm going to add a spicy pepper. You can cut this up and put it in the sauce if you want it to be extra hot, but I just want a little bit of heat, so I left it whole. The vegetables and the chicken will actually break down during the cooking process and create more juice for your sauce or your gravy, so you should have enough liquid to carry you through in cooking the chicken. But just in case, you just want to keep an eye on it and not keep the temperature too high. Keep it at medium low, a nice boiling simmer, and that should cook, have enough juice to cook the chicken all the way through. And there you have it, stewed chicken cooked in a red sauce. I hope you enjoy it and give it a try. I serve mine with fufu and an okra stew, and I'll be showing you how to make that coming up next. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.